What's up guys, today I'm going to be reviewing set 21189, the Skeleton Dungeon with 364 pieces, which is from the August 1st, like, Minecraft release wave, and it is the second ever dungeon that we've gotten. It consists of a little, like, moss, um, valley or whatever it is, um, Lush Cave, I think is the name, and then a little dripstone cave. On the top of the box, you can see the minifigures. You get two skeletons, a skeleton with a diamond, or not diamond, enchanted hat, and then a cave explorer. You can see the actual size of the minifigure, and then if I flip to the back, you can see the play features, such as being able to spin the skeleton inside, and having dripstone fall down on the skeletons, and being able to have a skeleton spawn by, like, moving the wall. You can also see a little, like, chest. The set honestly feels much bigger than what like you would think it would be when buying it. Um, the set has four minifigures. It has three skeletons, which I feel like is just kind of like the perfect amount of mobs to get in a set. And there's just so much in the set, even though it's like considered a smaller set. To start off, you get a, I, I forget what the name of the skin is. It's like the miner or something or like cave explorer, but it is a pretty cool skin. It is new. Lego's been doing a lot of these like new skins and stuff and it's, it's just a pretty cool minifigure. It's got some nice torso printing and face printing, and then on the back, it's got a little bit more printing. The minifigure has an iron pickaxe and a crossbow, and then that's it for, like, the minifigure type stuff, like skins or whatever. Then you get two skeletons, which are just kind of the basic Minecraft skeletons. They just have their plain bows, plain printed heads, and then the little, like, skeleton body. Then the um, final minifigure in the set is a skeleton with some enchanted weapons and armor. He has an enchanted bow and an enchanted helmet and then his little face printing and body like the other skeletons. Moving on to the set though, there's so much stuff like compacted into the set and it's honestly kind of like surprising how much there is for it being a $35 set. You, to start off, you have this little skeleton like spawner play feature where you, if you spin this, little thing right here in the ground this little nozzle or whatever which was on the last dungeon set it does move the little mob inside so if i go in and lift this up you can see me spinning it and the little skeleton inside which is one of the little micro world skeletons it is the first one that we've ever gotten it does spin around in there and it's kind of hard to see but like if if i hold it like that you can kind of see it the face is on the side though so you kind it's it's kind of cool to get a micro world skeleton and have that little play feature so you can have the skeleton spin around and basically have skeletons like spawn in the dungeon you have a little dripstone cave over here with a little like dripstone block here a bunch of these little dripstone like stalactites and stagmites i think are what they're called which are just little like um one by ones with a triangular or pyramid piece on top i forget what the name of the piece is but then you also have a copper ore back here, which is the first copper ore that we have gotten in Minecraft so far. It's just a few, like, dark nougat studs and, um, like, seal. I, I forget what the name is. It's, like, teal studs. And they're just kind of stacked like a normal Minecraft ore. And it creates a little copper ore, which is nice to get. There's a little play feature in the dripstone biome, which is included in a lot of Minecraft sets. So if you pull this little, like, block back right here and it will drop these like st like stalagmite blocks or whatever so you can have for example if i put these back up and we'll just put the skeleton beneath right here if i go ahead and move that back then it will drop the stuff on top of the skeleton's head and you can have it like kill the skeleton or whatever moving on to the lush cave side of things you get a few of these little drip leaf plants there is a big drip leaf down here and then another little drip leaf down here which they do have a little play feature, so if you, like, have the minifigures stand on it, it can kind of move up and down, so, you can, so it can sit up here, like, normal, and then when a player stands on it, it drops down, so you can kind of have the minifigure, like, slide off. There is a second one right here, and I'm pretty sure that this little thing right here is supposed to be a lily pad, but I don't really know. It's kind of confusing of a build. There is a little chest right here with inside. We finally get a Minecraft music disc. It is a little um, printed, like, 2x2 two two circle stud, or tile, whatever it is, and there is a little print on it, which makes it a music disc. It is nice to finally get one, and then the other stuff in the chest is a piece of bread and a bone. 
it is one of the newer chests from this wave, and then it just goes right there on those two jumper plates. It's also nice to get these little, like, clay patches, which are just sand blue. And then over here, you also get one of the, if I go ahead and, like, take it off. It is one of the, I forget the name of it, but it's like the flowers that hang on the ceiling in Minecraft. It's a just two-piece build, and this is the first set that contains one of them. Then you also have a little bit of vines over here on the side. And then if we go ahead and look up here, there is a waterfall, which is kind of nice to get. And then some torches scattered around to show that the player's been exploring. Then some grass and azalea trees or bushes, whatever you want to call them. There is one final play feature in the set where if I go ahead and, like, turn this back, I can have the skeleton, like, on this or have it on the other side, whatever. Um, but you can... Whoops. <laughs> I had him flip too far forwards. So if you have him like this, then you can go ahead and turn it around, have the skeleton hidden, and then when you want the skeleton to spawn when the player walks by, you just turn this and the skeleton spawns on in. And it's a pretty cool play feature. It's It was kind of like included in the last dungeon set, except it had the floor flip up. But it is a pretty cool play feature for the set. That is going to be all for today, guys. Thanks for watching and have a good day.